Hey guys, welcome back. Kyle Dimon here, Bullion RV, and I'm super excited and honored to show you our very first 25 MLE from Cougar. It's a brand new 2024. If you love the 22 MLE, this thing is even better. Just a little bit bigger, gives you that privacy in the bedroom. Can't wait to show you. So like always, we'll get you on the outside, show you a couple new features. We'll get you inside. Below, let us know what you think. And we'll kind of get started. Uh, so with the Cougars, they give you a really nice fiberglass front cap. Up here is going to be a window, so when we get in the bedroom, we'll kind of show you that. You can see how it's really nice and tinted, so you can't see in. You got your rock guard down here, so really nice protection over the whole front of the camper. Um, right up front, you also have a leash latch, so if you're those outdoors folks, you have bikes, you have your pets with you, you got your drunken husbands that are walking away from the campsite, can't keep a hold of them. 1,500 pound capacity, lock your stuff up, keep it right here for you. Uh, battery box location, so with our deals here at Bullion, we included 27 deep cycle battery, marine grade, putting that on board with a battery box. Um, we're also going to be filling these propane tanks for you too. These are two 30 pound uh, propane tanks on this rig here, which is going to be really nice. Power tongue jack up front as well. And then uh, what Keystone's been doing is what they got, a, they have a giggy box, which is really cool. Uh, kind of really cleans up all the wires that are going up front. It's going to be your battery disconnect. Just this nice box to keep it clean up there, keep all the wires in one spot, enclosed, keeping away from all the road corrosion, dirt, debris, mud, anything kicking up in the ground that you're throwing it around. So that's a really nice, clean looking piece. You got a really nice, good pass through storage. Slam latch baggage doors that are really nice and heavy, insulated, all held up by magnets. A lot going on in here as well. So you got your solar controller in here, you got your inverter prep, you got your battery disconnect for the solar panels up top. They put in a brand new LED uh, light bar in here, so not just little lights on either side. Uh, you can see the aluminum frame construction going on in here. So just a really nice, good pass-through storage with a lot going on in there. And then even more stuff on the other side, so we'll show you that when we get over there. Here's your docking station for all your water hookups and all that stuff. Um, you kind of get in here, you have a hot and cold shower outside, your city water hookup your tank flush, all in this one nice convenient location. Cool thing is, is these little door windows on here kind of have like a little slider on them. So you can kind of slide them to the side. This does have a little another 751 key in it, so can't get enough of those. So when you slide it to the side, have your hose hooked up here, you can still keep this door closed, which is something small, really cool. Like that about it. Uh, if you want more solar, you do have the option to do the ZAMP solar pack, so those little 200 watt briefcase solar panels to move those around the uh, sun. Right, nice hookup right there. Tankless hot water, so that's where those two 30 pounds come into play up top. So uh, you got the endless hot water going on. So it's gonna be really, really nice to have that. No more of that six gallon, taking those army showers where you're getting wet, turn it off, soap down, turn it back on. Really like that. So that's brand new that they've been doing for 24s. Notice the windows and how nice and tinted those are also if you're out in the sun to keep some of that heat out of there. So really nice tinted windows on there. Back side of the rig, you're gonna have your power hookups on the back. Uh, this is a 50 amp service, so it is prepped for a second AC in the bedroom. Here in Minnesota, we'd like to use it more, but there's only really a few days, so we just order them with one. If you guys wanna put one in, we do have those here. Key TV, another key, Keystone special, so kind of wired all to your camps or to all your TVs. So if you have a uh, cable at the campsite, just hook it up right back here. And then again, another one of those little swinging door things so you can keep this closed and just have a couple wires running out. So really nice to have that. Full spare tire on the back. I know a lot of folks always ask about a spare tire cover. Keystone gives you one. It's awesome. Prep for a backup camera up top. Uh, we carry those in house too, so that's prep for a Furion. You can talk to our parts team about looking at uh, getting you set up with one of those. Ladder to the roof on board for you, so get up to the fully walkable roof, check your seals, do anything you need to do on the roof, sweep off the slide box if you're camping this time of year, pine needles are falling, cones, maybe some sticks, clean the debris off there before you bring your slide in. Small little hitch on the back as well, so if you want to bring a bike rack or you know just a storage rack with coolers or a generator or anything, you got that back here for you. 
Really great outdoor kitchen. So a nice small fridge. So you're not having to run in and out all the time to grab a couple things you need. And then you have the flat top burner that just is amazing. If you've never had these flat top burners, this one's all wrapped up, but if you've never had these flat top burners, these are great for breakfast, just anything on here. Um, and look how far away it just pulls away from the camper. Gives you some space back here to maybe put your condiments or cooking stuff. Just a one burner on here. So, but really nice like outdoor kitchen set up here. Usually you only see these in a bunkhouse, so it's really nice to see them in other campers. You got uh, cable prep or TV prep out here. So this is where that key TV is running to. So if you wanted to set up your favorite game, it's game season right now. So you got plug-ins, your cable TV, all that stuff. You got the grill going. You got your fridge full of cold ones. Got your awning out. What, what more do you want? LED strip under the awning. So when it gets later at night, you got the nice LED strip. You got speakers out here. You got the marine grade speakers outdoors, which is awesome. Solid step. Uh, Lippard steps here coming to the ground takes away a lot of that bounce so you can go in and out of the camper A um, lot more security with the big grab handle coming in and out You got a lot wider step up top two for stability, you know your first step down last step in so That's really gonna be great for you guys And then here's the other side of the pass-through storage. So uh, you got your uh, in-command system here, so like an override if anything were to happen with that box inside. You got your second override out here, and then you also do have a manual to bring stuff in. So, you know, like a triple backup if anything were to go wrong, so I really like that. You're never going to be stranded with anything. You know, any awning left out or slide box, if it doesn't come in, you know, worst case scenario, you'll be able to get all that stuff in, which is great. This uh, camper also comes with the tire link on here as well. So having that on board right away, not having to add it, you guys are really gonna like that. So uh, let's get inside and see what that's all about. So right as you walk in, take your, your sandals, your shoes, kick them right under here, get them out of the way so nobody's tripping over those. That's awesome. Um, like I said, if you guys like that 22 MLS, you're just gonna love this camper because it's gonna give you a little more privacy, split it up. You got those folks that want to stay up late, watch their favorite movie. You, know, you got the grandkids hanging out. Somebody, you know, wants to go to bed. They do have their second, you know, separate section back there. Or if you got that early riser, let them wake up, make the coffee, get the breakfast going. Then you can roll out of bed when you're ready. But look at this counter space back here in this kitchen. So much prep space, so much counter space. I really like the rear kitchen. Um, just kind of gives you a whole lot of room to do stuff. Sink covers, pull down high rise faucet, drain side, cutting board side. Um, I mean, and then the cabinets, there's just so much space up here. What I really like is that they added their backsplash like into their cabinetry, just float it all up in there. Just gives it a nice look when you really open those up. So we'll give Keystone a thumbs up on that one. I really like that. Also, if you can notice these, um, all you got soft closed doors on all the cabinets as well. So that's gonna be really nice. So again, if you're up late, you know, or early in the morning, you're not banging all the doors, opening everything up, those people are still gonna stay awake and they're not gonna wake up all cranky. So nothing worse than having somebody start their day off like that. I mean, even cool under lighting, under the cabinets, just accent lighting, just kind of showcasing the cabinetry and the workmanship going on in here. Um, corner cabinets, this does wrap all the way around. So it is one big piece. Four good pull-out drawers for storage. The bottom one is a little bigger, a little deeper for extra stuff down here. Under the sink, look at that space. I mean, you can fit any size garbage can that's gonna work for you under there. Really like that. Three burner cooktop. And then you got your kind of little built-in backsplash. Got a nice good oven in here. Also wanna mention too, you got your window up above the stove that opens up all the way. So it helps kind of eliminate some smells or anything going on, some heat from the camper. So, you know, a lot of manufacturers aren't giving you a window that opens up by the kitchen. So Keystone's getting a lot of thumbs up today. Really like this camper. Storage up under the oven for pots and pans.
your dinette table over here, um, they've done the new mechanisms too, so you no more bars under the table, no more banging your bars. The table's gonna be a lot more sturdier, which is great. And then when you're dropping it down and lifting it up, it's gonna be a lot easier for you. Just flip the switch over, let's see. Push her down, move these cushions out of the way. When you're ready to make the bed again, you just pull it back up, flip the switch over, lock it in play. That's great. Another thing Keystone has done too is uh, with your storage under the booth seating, you know, typically it's just going to be like the foam pad and then you got a piece of wood. So you're taking two things off. They build that wood right into the bottom of the foam pad. So you're really just taking the one off. So just kind of a lot easier to get at, you know, I think that's a really smart idea that they've done there. Theater seats right across from the TV, sitting there, put your feet up. You're not cranking your neck, staring at the TV. So that's great. You got your 12 volt fridge and freezer. So really good space in there in a nice location to the kitchen. So just grab your goodies out of here, do your thing over here, put them back in. So I like the location of that. Uh, there is a big pantry in here, which is on the other side of the kitchen, but I'd rather have it somewhere in here than not at all. But look at the space in here, all that extra storage. Again, soft clothes over here on the cabinets too. Windows on the slide box open up. Right behind you got open windows, so really good airflow all around in here. You also got dimmer lights right above the seating area here. Um, also notice the rounded ceiling. So in the travel trailers, these shorter ones gives you a lot more headroom. So these folks that are six feet tall, kind of getting shrunk down in the travel trailers. The headroom in here is great. ACs in here are going to have more of a filtration system like your home. Um, so a more industrial, not just those little charcoal thin ones. That's going to be like a real air filtration system. And then with the AC, you also have the Blade Air 360s. Uh, so it's a new concept that they've done. They've been engineering it. Um, it's going to dump the air out more across the top and have that cold air sink. So you're going to lose a lot of those hot and cold spots. And it's going to cool down the camper really evenly a lot better for you too. So. Nice little small coffee bar maybe, or kind of a catch-all bar. Um, I always really like to talk about it, but you know, photography, those folks going out with their GoPros or their cameras, you know, you got your plugins here. So this is a big, great spot to just pop all your batteries and all your stuff just in one convenient location. You got cabinets, you know, above and below to store your stuff. And like I said, just a nice spot to kind of keep it all in one location to charge it all up. So let's move back into the bathroom here. A little smaller bathroom, but that's okay because they give you a porcelain toilet. They give you a big enough shower to get clean. Again, I'm only 5'8", five, 5'9", five, depending on the shoes I wear, but a ton of head space. I'm coming out of here cleaner than I went in, and that's all I'm happy with, so that's great. And like I said, for you folks that you know feel like you want to take a little longer shower with that tankless hot water heater, feel free to do that. Nice sink. I can get both my hands in there, clean them up. You got a medicine cabinet in here that's really big store a bunch of stuff in there and then down below even a good spot for a garbage can here in your bathroom and then some more storage drawers here move up into the bedroom keystones one of the only ones doing it under 30 foot travel trailer king size bed you got the hers and hers wardrobe storage like we always like to say here bullying is kind of the running joke uh, but this camper also gives you a huge amount of storage and hanging stuff over here. So, fellas, we might be able to bring more than just a swimsuit and a hoodie. Might be able to bring a couple things, go for a little while longer. And then that's that window I was kind of telling you about from the outside that's a little more darked out. Um, but you also do have a nice pull down shade for privacy too. So you can always block that out, but you really can't see in, which is going to be really nice. Each side of the bed is going to have power and USB. Uh, Keystone does prep this with an inverter. So if you want to add more solar panels, throw an inverter in here. 
those outlets would be live off the inverter so that's a really great option if you folks are doing more of that boondocking or something like that that you want to do like i said you got a little vent up top you got windows on either side so really good airflow in here if you're hot you know camping in a lot more hot temperatures or locations where the heat's at if you want to throw a second ac into the bedroom to make sure that this is an ice box you got power to do that and it's all prepped and ready if you need more storage if the rest of the camper wasn't enough you got under the bed to tuck whatever you want up under there as well so like i said so many amenities in such a you know 30 foot camper half ton towable i mean this thing is great i'd love to work with you i hope you'd like to work with me again my name is kyle over here at bullion rv in duluth minnesota if you like my videos please hit that like button subscribe to our channel it really helps us out you can shoot me a text, you can shoot me a call anytime. I'm here to help you, like I said, 218-740-4964. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you on the next one.